Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jonglo. I'm back, and right next to me, I have John Andrade. John Andrade, officially signed, will be making his MMA debut on our upcoming event, August 28th, at the heart of San Francisco, Kizar Pavilion, Jonglo Cage Fighting Series number one, going down to the history. Now, after the whole pandemic, now let's talk a little bit about what happened during the pandemic, John. Did you stay active, training, running? What do you do in the pandemic? During the pandemic, I was, um, you know, my outside of my family, always, always working out, being active. That was the first thing. And second of all, I was always with my teammates that we all, you know, we um, we all struggled to find a place to get together and, and roll. But luckily, one of us had a mat, so we would always get together in one of our garage. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like five five guys just always going going ham, just, you know, brawling, sprawling, wrestling, doing a little bit of boxing, everything, staying active. Now, you want to make an MMA debut. Yes. Um. What do you see yourself in down the line? Do you want to make a fighting as a career? Or what, what do you see yourself in MMA? Fighting is something I see as a career. I feel like I was born to do this. Oh, shit. I, I did. I feel like I was born to do this. <laughs> trust me. I've been I've been in points in my life where, like, very, very dark, where the only thing that got me through is being being active and, and knowing that fighting is what's going to get me out someday. And That's now it's just awesome. time to really introduce myself to the world. So, you born and raised in the Bay Area? Yes. Born and raised here. Um, I lived a little bit in Sacramento, and then I came back here, and I've spent you know my whole childhood here in Union City. Actually, that's my hometown. Union City. Yes. So now, as what I know, I saw some of your Instagram. You take some pictures with DC doing some wrestling and AKA. Like, well, where where do you train at exactly? Um, I train out of the Sculpta Martial Arts. It's actually in Redwood City, um, and also out of MBJJ, and also a little bit out of Bafa. So all around, um, mainly though, most of my most of my stuff has been at Escolta. I'm very very grateful for them. They've helped me a lot. All of my you know all of my martial arts. I have a whole tool of things now, and it's all thanks to them. So now, I know they're primarily striking and kicking and a lot of good kickers, especially uh, your teammates also fighting on the same cards, headlining on the undercard mm -hmm. and then fighting for the amateur belt, which means we usually don't do, but it's a very exceptional you know. Taekwondo black belt versus Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. We have to make a little adjustment to uh, entertain all the crowd. Now, do, do you wrestle at AKA or just go train cross train? Uh, I would cross train there. So what I did is on Tuesdays, I would go and I was young back in the day, you know? So I would go and help out some of the fighters and teach them the very basics, the mechanics of wrestling. Mm -hmm. Cause there was people that didn't know any wrestling, you know, they came from a boxing background and stuff. Yeah. So just to help, you know, a high schooler with, with the beginnings that way they, they can learn to begin the foundation, the most important part of wrestling. Wow. So that's what I was helping them with. And then I did a little bit of jujitsu there, here and there, because I would see the guys and I was like, what's that art, you know? I wanna try right. that. So that was, right, right, right. it was a humbling experience and I'm glad I kept up with it a little bit. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now, on this upcoming fight, you're fighting a guy coming off as 0-2. He's a veteran in the sport, he's been around. I uh, believe he, you know, fighting before even the pandemic. And uh, from Sacramento, and also kind of a trained independent, going different gyms and stuff. So now, how do you see yourself fighting a guy like him, uh, Patrick Ryan? I see myself putting this guy to sleep. I've seen, I've seen his fights. I've seen the way his his he thinks it's attitude. You know, he thinks it's it's uh it's. I think it takes a little more to to really go out there and be a superstar. Definitely in this in this sport. Um, now he's a little taller and he's a little bit bigger. You know, I know you can fight 35 and 45. Now, he's definitely have some size advantage on you. So, uh, and uh, he's a slug fed champion. The guy comes out, have some heavy hands. Yeah. So, uh, how do you see this fight is gonna go down? I see him going out either on his feet or on his back. Cause it's either gonna be me rocking him in the first or me taking him down and then him wanting it to stop when I'm grinding pounding. So, it's, it'll be fun. It's definitely gonna be fireworks. So do you, do you, um, the idea of perfect world, do you see this fight standing up? I want it to be standing. I want to show him that I'm, I'm more than just a grappler. Mm -hmm. Definitely more than a grappler. I have a whole, I have a whole tool set that I'm ready to show. Well, he's a little taller, so you got to work on some head booth and again and do what you do, you know? And I know he's always bringing the package, you know? Like he had never fought on our show before. I saw him fight, but that guy's exciting. You know, he'll empty the gas tank trying to knock some dudes out. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty wild guy. So, uh, now how do you prepare for training this fight? Uh, I've been doing a ton of Taekwondo, a lot of boxing, a lot of wrestling, um, just all around, you know, touching every martial art and getting a little bit from everyone, and getting 1% better every day at every art, everything I do. 
That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, now you see yourself fighting 135 and 145. Uh, this is your first time fighting in a cage. What do you walk around with? I walk around probably like around 160. 160. But I see myself probably fighting 145 for a little bit and then going down to 135 in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Now, even though you're making a debut, do you have anyone in the Bay Area that catch your attention? The guy's like, man, I want to fight that guy one day. Do you have anybody like that in your life? Honestly, everyone's a blank face to me. I, I'm just ready to make my way down to the UFC eventually and become the champion. But everyone's a blank face. I know it's a journey. There's no hate for anyone. It's just they're in my way. So I, I'm going to get there. Got to chop the trees down as you go along. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and now, if people want to get a hold of you, how can people contact you to, to get tickets to watching you fight? Um, you guys want to get a hold of me, you guys can actually just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. My Facebook would be John Andrade. Um, and my Instagram would be El Finito Andrade. It's uh, it's a little Spanish, a little Spanish in there. That's actually from my favorite boxer, El Finito Lopez. Oh. So just trying to make him proud, you know. Take after him. Sounds good. So I'm yeah. I'm assuming you you got some hands ready to go, right? Oh yeah, I have a little. I have some secret secret weapons. So. <laughs> yeah, That's pretty sure. awesome. Now, do you have anyone you want a special shout out to? Uh, uh, training partners, coaches, any business you want to shout out to, sponsor, you have anyone you want to say something? Yeah, I think more than anything, I'm, I'm, this opportunity was, was uh, you know, I, I looked for it, but it was given to me by, by a school of martial arts. They really helped me out. I walked in, told them I was ready to fight, and they, you know, they, they helped me get this fight. Um, then, also, of course, my, my family, more than anything, they've been behind me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 24, and they're like, you know what, I still want you to chase your dreams. And I said, I, I'm going to make you guys proud, for sure. So my my family, uh, my teammates over at uh, what's it called in Menlo Park, they've helped me out a lot. Like I said, they opened up their garage. We were able to roll during the whole quarantine. So mm -hmm. all of them, you know, everyone. Also my my dad, most importantly, uh, Sean Productions. He actually has his own photography business. So if you guys are ever interested, Sean Productions. Sean Productions. Does he have an Instagram or anything? Uh, so it's called Shots by Sean on on uh, Instagram. And if you ever check him out, I actually, I tag him in all my posts, so just, you'll probably find him on my posts. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm definitely gonna check him out and maybe give him some love and support and trying to follow him as well. So, you know, that's that would be awesome. Um, now, if your opponent, were Patrick Ryan, to watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? All I have to say is you better be ready. You better be ready and keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're making an MMA debut. Oh, a lot of time people are always saying, you know, I'm, I have a game plan, this and that, but when you get hit, the game plan's out of the door. You just go whatever, you mm -hmm. know. And your instinct is obviously you train with explosive martial art and everyone who comes out of that gym, it's like a crazy side kick, front kick, axe kick. You know, am I expecting some of that firework? There's gonna be fireworks. There's gonna be some kicks, some crazy kicks, you know, maybe a tornado kick or something. What's what's uh, tornado kick by the way? <laughs> uh, it's like a it's like a spinning kick and it ends with a, a nice a nice flush KO. That's oh amazing. shit! It's like some John Clark goddamn Van Dam, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, you guys can expect that. You guys can also expect boxing for sure. Yes. And just you know a whole a whole, a whole just like tool bag of things. I'm ready. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, for more information about this upcoming fight card, ladies and gentlemen, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support. And follow me on Instagram, dragon underscore house underscore MMA. And we have events scheduled for the rest of the year. August 28th is the upcoming one. And then the one after will be November 13th. Will be a really big stack card to celebrating Dragon House been in San Francisco for 25 years. We put on a special stack card matchup for all the five fans out there. Anyone want to get on that card, November 13th, make sure you guys hit me up. DM me, and if a fighter manager DM me, so I'm probably gonna start working on that card around mid-August, so, uh, you know, give me some support. We'll keep providing all the epic events for all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay, and this event's a live stream pay-per-view, so if you can't make it to the event, making sure you guys order your live stream pay-per-view from my website, dragonhousemma.com. This event is 22 fights, 12 pros and 10 amateurs. Both doors open at three, first amateur kickoff at 4 p.m. Then professional fight kickoff at 6.30. So don't miss it out. Any last word to anyone else you want to say? Um, you know, I just want to say that I've been, I've been on the sidelines for a long time watching this sport. And I'm finally ready to introduce myself to the world. Awesome. Yeah. One more time. What's your name again? John Andrade. John Andrade. 
make sure you guys follow him. Looking out for this up and comer. I'm excited to watch him debuts, and especially during the quarantine. It's crazy how the in industry changed. A lot of OGs been fighting for a long time. They no longer fighting. So, and this upcoming fight card, there's a tons of guys that like making a debut, professional one and oh, oh and one, just like a lot of beginners, up and comers. So do not miss it out. And I'm looking forward to have this debut guys to make a name for themselves in a big stage, biggest regional show in Northern California. I'm John Lowe signing out. Good to have you at Vintage, John. Thank you.